you have a rose that needs to be transplanted, maybe it's in a spot too shaded, like this one. This only receives about three hours of sunlight a day, and it needs to be out where it gets about eight hours of sunlight. So as what we do is during the winter dormant season to actually dig the rose and transplant it. And I'm out about a foot from the bush. And I'm going to make a circle all the way around the plant, like so. Cut right in, whoops, cut any of those roots. And then we'll take it up and it's ready to be transplanted. So as you can see, it's a very simple, whoops, almost. A very simple process. I apparently have not cut a root on that side. And you run in probably to the same thing. There we go. So now that bush is ready to be transplanted into its new planting hole. So come on with me and I'll show you how to properly plant it. Now I've already prepared the planting hole and I've added some organic humus. That's really important with roses. The organic humus is in the form of processed manure and peat moss. I'm also going to add a non-burning rose fertilizer, an organic fertilizer, to the planting soil. And I'll mix that up a little. We don't want to burn the roots of the, of the plant, so it's very important to use a non-burning material. Now, also, I'm going to take this rose, and sometimes, by the way, when you move these, the dirt will fall away and the plant will be bare root. Don't worry about that. That doesn't, during the deciduous season, that doesn't make any difference. I've got a little bit too much soil there, so we'll just pull a little bit of it out like so. And I'm going to leave the open end towards the sun. And you can see how such a bright sunny area this is. This is a perfect area for roses. So now I'll just pull that soil in. And since the bulbs were already there, I'm just leaving them right around the plant. There's no need to take them away. You could if you wanted to, but you sure don't have to. And we'll just firm the soil a bit around. Don't want to push the oxygen out, but at the same time, we want it to be in its place. Now, that's not the last part of it. The next part of it is to go ahead and prune the rose. Because we've already pruned the root system, let's do the top pruning too. And we always prune to an outside bud. There's one right there. So I'll make my pruning cut just above that outside bud. And on this cane, you can't see it, it's on the back side. But I'll prune again above an outside bud. And over here, above an outside bud. So I'm getting this rose down to the proper height so that we'll have foliage all the way from the ground up. You can see it's that easy and during the deciduous time is the time to move your roses.